Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a first impressions video for you again. Yay! Um, today it's going to be on the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. I have mine in the shade F200 and you get 30 mils and it does come with a pump which is great. Um, I picked mine up from lookfantastic.com. Um, I think I picked mine up for about $15 and it was free shipping so that's super good. So according to the website, it says a lightweight and luminous liquid base formulated with light diffusers which unify skin tone and cover imperfections effortlessly. Specially designed true color pigments work perfectly with your skin's natural tones in a velvety smooth ultra blendable formula. Cleverly designed light diffusing particles detract attention away from lines, wrinkles and blemishes. The result, the perfect Skin on skin effect, flawless, concealed, with makeup that looks barely there, even in natural daylight. Clinically and dermologically tested, 100% oil and fragrance free, non-pore clogging. Anyway, this foundation seriously sounds like holy grail material so far. Like, if this can meet all its claims, like, ah! And it doesn't actually say how long it will wear for, so... I'll basically keep this on for as long as I can so yeah <laughs> let's see how we go so as you can see I do have significant redness on my cheeks I do have under eye dark circles and then I do have a few imperfections or dots on my face I do have some fake tan on and it is developing so I'm a little bit cautious if it's going to match me but we'll look past that for now <laughs> oh my goodness it's, it's taking forever oh okay that wasn't like a pump, that was just some random dollops that came out. So I'm just going to do one full pump to see how much actually comes out of this foundation. Okay, so that giant dollop there is one full pump. You can see that it is one of those pack. I don't know if you can see in the lighting, but it's one of those that the bottom kind of pushes the product up. So you'll always know how much you have left, which I think is really, really good. It's not a runny consistency. Like when you touch it, it's not thick, but it doesn't run either. So let's just put on one half of the face and we'll see how we go. And they're right, this doesn't have any scent that I can smell. In the viewfinder it looks really, really orange. <laughs> but I think it's matching quite nicely in real life. This is, I think, the second lighter shade. Let me just look at the website, hold on. So there's only five shades available in this and this is the second lighter shade. And the shade before this does look really, really, really pink, which is really concerning actually. Because what about if you're super pale and you want to try this foundation? I'm just going to pat the product underneath my eyes. Sorry, my camera stopped recording. So I can notice that it is super, super light in consistency. It's really, really amazing. So far, it's so light on the skin. I love it. So obviously I have fake tan, that's why this part of my face is so white compared to like my chest and this side, but I have made the foundation match my chest area instead of like my face because it would look really, really weird. So, so far I have a super, super light coverage on my face. I can definitely see all of my redness still. I can basically see everything that I could before. It's just that my skin tone has been evened out. And maybe like the tiniest bit of my redness has been covered, but not really. So let's do the other side and then we'll do a second layer. But so far I'm super, super impressed with how light it actually feels on the skin. It feels so, so amazing. And it's not like super shiny or glowy. It's more just like skin-like finish. Like you can see how it's like glowing, but that's because I have like studio lights bouncing on my face. Overall, it does feel like my natural skin. It's really, really nice. And at the moment, I have applied one full pump to my face. Okay, so that's one layer done. Um, I'm experiencing the same thing on this side as I did this side. My redness isn't fully covered. It's not even nearly covered as anything that I'm used to. It's super light coverage that I'm feeling at the moment. Hasn't covered up any of my blemishes. It's more just evened out my skin tone at this point. Okay, so now that I've given it time to set, I don't know if I should apply a second layer all over my face. I think I will do that, actually. But yeah, so far it's dried to 
it's not sticky, but I can definitely feel there's something on my face. Um, yeah, this is ridiculously dark considering it is the second lighter shade. Oh my goodness. And I'm just going to do it to one side of my face again and then you can see the difference. I'm hoping this layer I won't need to use as much product. And by the way, I haven't used any primer or anything like that. I don't know if it's because I'm just starting to blend it in or if it's just starting to look a bit thick. I think this may work better with a beauty blender. But I didn't want to use a beauty blender for this video just because like beauty blenders kind of sheer things out a little bit in my opinion. So I didn't really want to give it that opportunity. I wanted to use the product as it was. I think on the second layer it is actually covering up a decent amount of stuff to be honest. I feel like it's a lot darker now with the second layer than it was with the first layer. Like, I don't know if you can notice, but this side looks really, really, really dark. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so dark. And I have fake tan on. Like, it's still developing, but I have fake tan on. Maybe I need to put on a second layer of fake tan so it matches. I might do that later. <laughs> um, okay, so I've, I've done half of my face. I can feel like it still hasn't covered up my redness. Like, I can still see it here. Like, I don't know if you can in the view, um, on the screen, but I can definitely still see it. I can still see that dot. Hmm. Okay, let's just do the other side. I feel like with this foundation, I'd probably keep it at, like, maybe a layer and then just applying it where I needed it. But, I don't know, like, it gets darker when you apply more. Or maybe it's because my face was super, super light and the coverage was super, super light as well. Maybe. I don't know. But... Whatever, this side looks a lot lighter than this side does, so. It has covered the redness around my nose, though. Do I take my skin type? I have, like, normal combination skin. Like, I get a little bit oily around my nose and sometimes my T-zone, but the rest of my face is generally normal. Okay, I just want to layer it on my blemishes because I don't think I have a concealer this dark. I'm actually going to use a dry beauty blender. Mine's stained, sorry. But I'm going to use a dry beauty blender just to apply it. So I'm just going to apply it and then I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. I stuttered a little bit, sorry. I'm just going to apply it with a dry beauty blender just so it doesn't alter the product. I feel like a beauty blender would work a lot better with this foundation actually. This foundation does have a really skin-like texture to it, which I do enjoy. And it is actually decently covering up my dark circles, which is actually pretty good. And the pump is actually really, really controllable. Like you can get a very, very small amount. So I'm not too sure if you're supposed to set this or not, but I am going to go in with a bit more concealer. Okay, so I am going to go in with a bit more concealer, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I look crazy now, but I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup. I just want to um, really quickly say that my concealer went on super, super well over that foundation, and I'm really, really liking it at the moment. So yeah, I'm just going to put on the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I've just finished applying my makeup. It's currently 8.48. I've given this foundation a good 20 minutes to sink into my skin. So far I do like the finish of the foundation, but it's just the colour. I don't know. I'm just a bit off put because I think it's a bit darker than my chest, but I don't know. You be the judge. So far I think it's nice for covering, um, like evening out your skin tone. And if you just need that tiny, tiny bit of coverage. But if you have redness or problematic skin, I don't think this would be for you straight off the bat. Um, also there's no SPF in this, at least nothing that says it on the bottle. So yeah, you would also need to put a UV base of some sort underneath if you're wanting sun protection. But yeah, so I think that's all that I need to say. It's not really emphasizing my pores, but it's not blurring them either. It's more just, it's more just how my skin normally looks without foundation on basically. So I guess in that aspect, it has lived up to that, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. I'll check back with you in a little bit. Okay guys, so back with another update. It's currently 1.08. So it's been a few hours now and I've just come back from my daily adventures. Um, I just wanted to show you what the foundation looked like in natural light. So I did turn off my studio light. So this is how it looks without the studio lights bouncing off. I, After I filmed the first part of my well, the clip that you just saw, I did turn off my studio lights. And I have been enjoying the colour match a lot better. I don't know why my chest was showing up so light compared to my face. Maybe my fake tans developed a little bit more. I don't know. But yeah, so far I'm really, really liking the colour match. 
after I turned off the studio lights and also I was taking some selfies what's new and oh my goodness guys like my skin looked flawless like in real life I can still see my blemishes I don't know if you can but in real life I can still see like my discoloration spots and so forth but in the photos guys like it made me look so flawless you can't even see it because it's kind of bright like it just seriously made my skin look so nice and so flawless looking and I absolutely adore that like it made my skin look amazing so I don't know why it photographs so nicely but in real life it doesn't look best but whatever um, so far I'm super super impressed I haven't looked up close my nose is getting the tiniest tiniest bit of shine but besides that it doesn't look like it's breaking down at all which is great and it hasn't sunken into my pores or my laugh lines or anything like that so so far so good I'm super impressed so far so yeah I'll check back with you in a little bit hi everyone I'm back for another update so it's currently 425 if you can see that on my phone so I have a mirror down here so so far I can see that my pores aren't really emphasized at all I, I never thought this was possible but it looks better now than how it did before which is really 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 strange I don't know how that works but it does look better now than what it did before my nose isn't even that shiny like not more shiny than normal considering I didn't powder or anything like that and then my forehead is just average but in the viewfinder like I seriously really like how I look <laughs> up myself much or oh, what but yeah I really 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 like how I look in the viewfinder I think it's really really photography makeup kind of thing even though it is so light on the skin like I seriously haven't been able to feel that I've been wearing foundation all day which is great okay guys so I'm back for another update it's currently 9 49 so it's, this makeup has basically been on for like 13 ish hours I think from memory so my nose has gotten a little bit oily which is expected because most foundations I do experience some oil coming through yeah, especially because I didn't even powder my face. That's really, really good. Um, no foundation has accentuated my pores at all, which is really, really nice. And nor has any really sunken into my laugh lines or anything like that. It has gone a bit icky on my forehead, which I'm a bit confused about because I normally don't have that icky situation on my forehead, which I think is really, really strange, but whatever. It doesn't really oxidize. It more just adapts to my skin. I don't know. It's really, really weird, but the color seems to have matched me really, really nicely now. Yeah, so far I'm not that impressed, like, with the longevity of the foundation, but also it never really claimed to be a long-lasting foundation either. So I think for this foundation, it will probably last about maybe six or seven hours, maybe, and it would still look really, really, really good. So I don't think this is something that I would wear every day, just considering it does fade a little bit, especially like it's really, really odd how it fades like here. I don't know. It's a bit of a, I like it for how it looks, but I don't like how it lasts. So it's like, it, it's a real big toss up for me. I believe if you want a foundation to look amazing in photos, I think this may be for you. I did do some flash photos before and none of them gave me any flashback. I was actually really, really happy with how the photos turned out. But also take into consideration I haven't powdered my face. So that could also be an indic like that could just be a possibility that if I did powder that the foundation would last a bit longer. Who knows? But yeah, I'll definitely keep using this foundation because I really, really like how it sits on the skin and how it looks on video and on camera but at this point it's not holy grail material yet but who knows maybe with a powder it might be better but only time will tell with that but I will definitely let you know if it does become my favorites so yeah I don't think there's anything else I need to say in regards to this foundation at least not now nothing that I can think of if I've left anything out I'll leave it in the description box down below my overall opinions is I would use it again I do want to experiment with it try different techniques maybe try beauty blender next time and even try a powder next time did what I say just make sense <sighs> okay guys so that's the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye